Evan with LLE News. On today's show, we're going to talk about the weather, the weekly lunch menu, kids on the street, and a fun candy fact. We're also going to talk about Valentine's Day, President's Day, and Black History Month. We even have a delicious recipe to share with you. First, let's go to Chloe with the weather. Hi, my name is Chloe Brightson, and I'm going to be telling you the weather for this week. On Monday, it will be rainy with a high of 26 degrees and a low of 16 degrees, and it will be a 9% chance of rain. On Tuesday, it will be partly sunny with a high of 32 degrees and a low of 23 degrees and a 1% chance of rain. On Wednesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 43 degrees and a low of 36 degrees and a 4% chance of rain. On Thursday, it will be rainy with a high of 53 degrees and a low of 41 degrees and a 31% chance of rain. On Friday, it will be rainy with a high of 44 degrees and a low of 29 degrees and a 51% chance of rain. On Saturday, it will be uh, partly cloudy with a high of 40 degrees and a low of 29 degrees and a 24% chance of rain. On Sunday, it will be a high of 42 degrees and a low of 26 degrees and a 14% chance of rain. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, I'm Al. Valentine's Day is February 14th. People around the world give flowers, candy, chocolate, and more. The history of Valentine's Day started on February 14, 496 AD. There were at least three St. Valentines from the early Catholic Church that were May trees. Valentine's Day could have been named from one of those May trees. On Valentine's Day, people sometimes decorate with colors such as pink and red hearts. The Cupid is a symbol of Valentine's Day. The Cupid has a bow and arrow. Legend says the Cupid shoots arrows at people, and the first person that they see, they will fall in love with. Happy Valentine's Day! Hi, I'm Jayaraj. President's Day is a day to celebrate our president. It is celebrated on the third Monday of February every year. February 12th is Abraham Lincoln's birthday, and February 22nd is George Washington's birthday. Schools get off on President's Day. On this day, we honor all of the presidents that served our nation. Here are some presidential fun facts. John Tyler had the most children. He had 15 children. He was our 10th president. John F. Kennedy, 35th president, was the youngest to be elected president. Joe Biden, the 46th president, is the oldest president at 78 years. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson both died on July 4th, 1826, and that was the same day of the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. William Henry Harrison was the ninth president, and his grandson, Benjamin Harrison, was the 23rd president. Hi, my name is Suhani Batwara. People who live in Sweden love candy so much that they celebrate it every Saturday. It's called Saturday Sweet Day. How lucky are they? Every Swede eats about 35 pounds of sugar a year. Can you believe that? That's a lot of sugar. So the Swedes begged their government to limit their candy habit to just one day of the week to try and limit the number of cavities. They were granted Saturday to be that day. Salty licorice is one of their favorite candies. Did you know there's also a candy that starts with the word Swedish? It's called Swedish fish. Have you ever been to a candy store where there's a wall of candy and you get a bag and a scooper to make a bag of mixed candy? Well, that was created in Sweden. I bet now you would want to move in Sweden. I would. February is Black History Month. It was created by Carter G. Woodson in 1915, but was not established until February 1926. He quotes that both men and women deserve a right. This date was specifically chosen because of Frederick Douglass's birthday. It was also celebrated in memory of former President Abraham Lincoln. Another day who this day contributed to was Martin Luther King Jr. This is because of all his accomplishments from the 1950s to 1960s. Within these people, that also includes former President Barack Obama. He is famous for being the first black president of the United States. Hi, my name's Sukhani. What's yours? Jackie. Mason. I have a question for you. What's your favorite candy? Probably anything with chocolate in it or gummies. Okay. Snickers. All right, thank you. My name's Suhani. What's yours? Ben. Ryan. I have a question for you. What's your favorite candy? Um, Swedish fish. Um, I would say Hershey's chocolate.
Thank you. My name is Suhani. What's yours? Janie. Clara. I'm gonna ask, I have a question for you. What's your favorite candy? Um, probably Sour Patch Kids. Probably Cherry Lollipops. Thank you. I'm Suhani. What's yours? Ethan. Diana. I have a question for you. What's your favorite candy? I don't have one. Twix. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, honey. What's yours? Miles. Anna. I'm going to ask you a question. What's your favorite candy? M&M's. Candy cane. My name's Suhani. How's, what's yours? Envy. Jake. I have a question for you. What's your favorite candy? Airheads. Sour Patch Kids. Okay. Bye. What's yours? I'm Lena Tan. Raina. I have a question for you. What's your favorite candy? Mine's like Jolly Rancher. Mine's Sweetest Fish. Thank you. Thank you. My name's Suhani. What's yours? Leaf. Claire. I have a question for you. What's your favorite candy? Um, probably Hershey's or Milky Way. Mine is Snickers. Thank you. Bye. My name's Suhani. What's yours? My name is Allison. Olivia. Ryan. I have a question for you. What's your favorite candy? My favorite candies are Twix and Kit Kats. Twix and Milky Way. Sour Patch. Good answer. Thank you. My name's Suhani. What's yours? Luna. Taiwan. Brooklyn. Mia. I have a question for you. What's your favorite candy? Skittles. Skittles. Uh, Kit Kat. Airheads. Hi, I'm Hannah. And you are? Mrs. Monopoly. What is your favorite candy? My favorite candy is a Three Musketeers bar. Thank you. Hi, my name is Claire Bransky. And I'm Mia Sosa. Well, and welcome to my kitchen. We are going to show you how to make apple crisp from the book we are reading at school. So you may see. It, it is Fran's apple crisp recipe. First, you will need your fillings. Five apples peeled, sliced, and cored. One and a half a, a cup of sugar. One tablespoon of cinnamon. One fourth of nutmeg. One fourth of a tablespoon of brown cloths. And <laughs> Next, you'll need your to get your toppings. One stick of softened butter, eight table eight tablespoons of sugar, one table and eight tablespoons of all processed flour. For the kitchen stuff, you will need a big bowl for the fillings, a spoon for mixing, a separate bowl for the toppings, a mixer, one baking dish, and that's all the kitchen stuff you will need. First, set the oven at 350 degrees. Fahrenheit. Take the large bowl and put the sliced apple, sugar, and spices. Toss in a spoon. Toss with a spoon until the apples are evenly closed. Who needs cover? Now mix. The separate bowl and use your fingers to combine butter and dry ingredients. Okay. Ready? Put it in! Okay. I'll put the sugar. I'll put the Then, mix with your hands. Oh my god, this feels so good. Okay, now we put the apples in 
to the dish. First, make sure you take out the spoon. Make sure none drop out of the dish. Now we have to flatten it out. Don't be afraid to get your hands in there. Next, put the put the topping on top of the apples. Make sure no drop is left. Then you are going to want to flatten that out. And again, don't be scared to get your hands dirty. Okay. Now, time to put it in the oven. Now, bake for an hour and wait patiently until it is done baking. This is what it should look like. Now, now you're going to get your ice cream. But not for yeah. Now you're gonna get your ice cream. Any flavor is totally fine. We're going to use vanilla. You're going to spread it very oh, yeah. closely on top of your ice cream. Um, and the ice cream will make it taste very good. So much. <laughs> Try and get it on. It looks very hot. Mmm, oh, good. Lunch by Danny Weiss. Monday, February 14th. There will be pizza or heart shaped grilled cheeses. For the sides, there will be tomato soup or fruit. Tuesday, February 15th. There will be hot dogs or pulled pork sandwiches. For the sides, there will be french fries or fruit. Wednesday, February 16th, it will be Meatball Hero, Demaras Deli Italian, or Turkey Hero. For the sides, it will be carrot, Carrots with Dip or Fruit. Thursday, February 17th, it will be Zoo-shaped Chicken Nuggets or Buttered Noodles. For the sides, it will be Fruit and Vegetables. Friday, February 18th, it will be Pizza or Chicken Pot Stickers. For the sides, there will be Corn or Fruit. Every day, if you don't like the foods that we have, you can have one of these instead. Bagel and cereal, and for the drinks, there are milk, juice, or water. Thank you for watching. I've been reporting in for Quick Update and the Winter Olympics. The top five countries are Germany in first, Norway in second, Austria in third, USA in fourth, and Netherlands in fifth. The Olympics aren't over yet, though, so good luck to all the Olympic athletes. Hope you enjoyed watching this week's Alley News. See you next week.